The NHL playoffs have returned, and unfortunately, I have to go low production on recording my predictions this year just because circumstances didn't really work out. But uh, not that anyone cares, we're here to predict the playoffs from start to finish your 2024 Stanley Cup winner. And uh, starting with Dallas and Vegas, for here, I would... This is kind of interesting, because if Vegas gets healthy, I think... They could they show that they can match up well with Dallas, even though Dallas has improved since last season and are supposedly even better. This is probably one of the better teams Peter DeBoer has had the pleasure of coaching, but I have a hard time trusting him for some reason. I will say probably they'll start off 1-1. Vegas will even it out, and Dallas will retake the series lead. Then Vegas will end up winning this in seven. It'll probably be one of the best first round series. I actually go back and forth with between choosing these two. Because as much as I want Pavs to get a cup and as much as I want the Knights to lose, I think they get healthy. It's hard to bet against them, especially with what happened last year. So, yeah. So now Vancouver and Nashville. We will be going with Vancouver pretty comfortably here. The Preds have not played Vancouver very well this season. I think just tactically it's not the best matchup for Nashville, even though they do have some weapons, or at the very least, Philip Forsberg. I mean, this is definitely a Rick Tochet type team, <laughs> as evidenced by uh, JT Miller's season. And so Winnipeg, Colorado, this is another series that could be very good. I'm actually going to go with Winnipeg here. Actually, this isn't how I predict it. Hmm. So Winnipeg, I have a feeling they're going to use their physicality to just go far in the playoffs this year because Rick Bonus has kind of shown, I mean, since they have better depth now and they're, they were more active on the market, I just think Winnipeg has an opportunity to go deep in the playoffs. And so I'm going to go with them here, although it'll be very interesting because I could definitely see Nathan McKinnon and Kale McCarr having breakout series. I mean, it almost feels inevitable that that will happen, but I have a feeling about Winnipeg's chances this season. Now, Edmonton, L.A. again. This time, L.A. isn't blessed with wonderful Todd McClellan, which would be to their advantage. And so I'm going to say this. Uh, it's a bit of a travesty, travesty that the Red Wings didn't end up making the playoffs or the Capitals did. And as such, history will kind of continue. I mean, the Caps have beaten the Rags in the playoffs before more often than the teams they usually lose in the playoffs too. But, uh, It'll happen again, and this time it'll be a pretty comfortable victory for the boys in blue. And so now we have the Battle of Florida here. Tampa will probably get game one, but I expect Florida to adjust. This is probably the most likely division winner to lose outside of Dallas, but given how fragmented Tampa has been in recent years and how fragmented they are compared to like their cup winning teams and how strong Florida has been, especially with like that Barkov and Forsling duo whenever they're on the ice, it seems like mm. opponents never score on them, like only nine goals given up in 450 minutes on ice together or something like that. So I bet against the Carolina Hurricanes over the past couple of seasons and that will discontinue. Simply due to the fact the Islanders' penalty kill is terrible, and Carolina has so many weapons, and yeah, I'm, if they prove me wrong again, then so be it, but I'm not going to bet against them this time. This is another potentially exciting first-round matchup. History would say that one should go with the Bruins. However, I don't think the Bruins are best equipped to counter Toronto's tactics this time around. And therefore, I am going to pick the Leafs to win this series. Round two, here we go. Winnipeg and Vegas. Logically, I would say, hmm, 
my logically I would say Vegas and my gut kind of tells me they're going to win but also my gut is saying Winnipeg is going to go far in the playoffs this year so we're just going to say it goes to seven this is probably going to be a very entertaining series although if it goes to seven it would kind of be hard to bet against Vegas but I don't know it doesn't seem like the Knights have played many game sevens up to this point in their history like only against us in Minnesota, I feel. And maybe there's another one I'm forgetting. Edmonton and Vancouver. I actually don't really trust Vancouver that much. So I'm going to go with Edmonton here. Because even though Vancouver has had a good season and this is a Rick Tochet type team, I have a feeling that back line is going to do enough for Edmonton to go far in this playoffs and also when you have McDavid and Dreisaitl and Nuge, and also they, they added to their center depth with Adam Henrique. So I think they have nice two-way players centered around their big guns. So Carolina and New York, rematch from 2022. I'm going to, this is gonna be a tough one actually. It's hard to really predict who will win here. So I'm going to roll with, hmm. I will probably go against Carolina. I go with Carolina. Usually in La Violette's first season, his teams do go far in the playoffs. Or, uh, well, the Rags probably would end up winning this series, but we're going to just roll with the Canes. So Florida, Toronto, I think it'll be a repeat of last year. And Florida ends up winning. Conference final. I'm going to roll with, who am I going to roll with here? This is going to be a very interesting series, but I'm going to say Winnipeg will steal it. Yeah, I just have a feeling. I just have a feeling that the way Winnipeg's built, they're not going to, they, I don't know. It's very, <laughs> this is going to make me look really dumb or really smart. So we're just going to go with it. And now Florida and Carolina. Hmm. I think Carolina is upset about what happened last year, so we're going to go with them. I don't know, though. I mean, Florida does have the team and the personnel to counter Carolina's style of play. And I think they have it better than a majority of teams in the playoffs this year. Because I think the Rags can actually counter their play pretty well, too. But I'm going to roll with Florida, actually. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we do get long series in these conference finals. Whomever the matchups end up being. Ah, who would expect this Stanley Cup final? Does Florida actually avenge their loss from last year? It seems like it. So we will say... Florida, just because I think the creativity is, I think, I trust Florida's, um, I should say, I should tr I trust Florida's lines more than Winnipeg's, I guess, or I trust their tactics better. So I'm going to go with them. Yeah, in before I get jinxed <laughs> and in before the exact opposite happens. <laughs> but we'll find out in June. And actually, one more thing that I think about it. This is super annoying. I know this is really annoying, but a lot of you who watch this channel don't appear to be subscribed. So, um, yeah, if you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe. We're on the road to 1K, and I'd really appreciate it. It'd be awesome. You'd be awesome. We are building something great here. If you want to get hyped up for the Stanley Cup playoffs, even though this is going to be out pretty much when the playoffs start, check out a 10-minute comp of last-second game winners that have happened over the past 50 years or so.